Today I'm going to be reading you another story. This story is called We Don't Eat Our Classmates. This one is written by Ryan T. Higgins. When I start a story, I like to make predi predictions and preview the text. So I'm going to look through this book, but I don't want to look at the ending. Um, on the very front, I see a dinosaur. And uh-oh, he's got a shoe in his mouth and it's really sticky. So he might have eaten his classmate. Uh-oh. I wonder what we're going to learn from this story. We don't eat our classmates. Penelope Rex was nervous. It's not every day a little T-Rex starts school. What are my classmates going to be like? Will they be nice? How many teeth will they have? This was very important. Penelope's mom bought her a new backpack with ponies on it. Ponies were Penelope's favorite because ponies are delicious. Penelope's dad packed her a lunch of 300 tuna sandwiches. Could you imagine if you ate 300 tuna sandwiches? I would not even eat a bite. Yeah, I think that would be way too many, but not for a dinosaur. Oh, and one apple juice. Finally, the big day came. And Penelope Rex was very surprised to find out that all of her classmates were children. So she ate them because children are delicious. Penelope Rex, said Mrs. Noodleman. We don't eat our classmates. Please spit them out at once. So she did. Uh-oh, did she eat all her classmates? Because <laughs> they're humans. And they're humans. Oh, no, look at them. They're all sticky. It was not the best way to start school. Still, Penelope was determined to have a good first day. She tried hard to make friends at recess. She finger painted some of her best work. She even saved Griffith Emery a seat at lunch. You can sit here, but let's look. What is she doing at the bottom of the slide? She's got her mouth open to eat them and her painting is a picture of her eating children and she's telling him he can sit on her plate. Mm, I don't think any of those children are gonna wanna do that. Nuh -uh. Penelope started to notice everyone was making friends but her. I wonder why everyone else is making friends except Penelope. Was it maybe because she wasn't treating the friends very nicely? She was trying to eat them. So she wasn't treating her friends very nicely and soon her friends stopped being friends with her. Let's see how she feels now. It was lonely. She was very lonely. What can Penelope do so that she's not lonely anymore? Let's think about that. When she got home, her dad asked her about her first day of school. I didn't make any friends, Penelope cried. None of the children wanted to play with me. Penelope Rex, her father asked, did you eat your classmates? Well, maybe sort of just a little bit. Sometimes it's hard to make friends, said her dad, especially if you eat them. You see, Penelope, children are the same as us on the inside, just tastier. That gave Penelope a lot to think about. Hmm. She tried and tried. She tries. So let's see if she tries differently today. The next day, Penelope tried really hard. But poor Penelope, she could not stop herself from eating her classmates. Mrs. Noodleman, Penelope ate William Omoto Am again, and they were all afraid of her. So she tried really hard, but she still wasn't very nice to them, right? Mm -mm. So now they're still afraid of her. I don't think that's gonna help her from not being lonely. Except Walter. Walter was a goldfish. So Penelope tried to make friends with him. 
will you be my friend? Because she was lonely, right? She wasn't very nice to any of their, the other children. They didn't want to be her friend. Oh, yeah. So she was going to try and be friends with this fish. Let's see what happens. Oh, yeah. Chomp. Uh-oh. What did the fish do? Oh. Did he bite Penelope? Eee! Cried Penelope. He's eating my finger. she like that very much? Mm -hmm. Once Penelope found out what it was like to be someone's snack, she lost her appetite for children. She knows what it feels like when someone's not being nice to her. It hurts. So maybe that taught Penelope that she needs to be nice to the other children too. Let's see if things start to change for her. She stopped eating her classmates. Even when Cece Woodman spilled barbecue sauce all over herself, she still didn't eat her. And soon Penelope made friends. Found you! Want a brownie? I helped make them. Now even when children look especially delicious, she peeks at Walter and remembers what it's like when someone tries to eat you. Does it feel good when someone tries to hurt your feelings? Mm -hmm. No, so that's why we need to make sure that we're also being careful with how we treat others. And Walter the goldfish stares right back at her and licks his lip. Ah! Because dinosaurs are delicious. Was that a great story? I know we don't really have dinosaurs in our classroom, but it reminds us that we need to treat others kindly. Sometimes we forget, and sometimes we may not treat others kindly, and it got very lo lonely for Penelope when she didn't treat others with kindness. And then someone didn't treat her kindly, and she realized that it hurt. So in the end, she wasn't lonely anymore. She had a lot of other friends because they all treated each other with respect. And that is the story, We Don't Eat Our Classmates. Thanks for reading with us.